Hi guys, right, we are going to continue our past paper memo and we are doing the 2019 NSC paper and today we're doing, or well in this lesson we're doing question 3.1. Okay, so what I realized is when I did my videos on sequence and series, I didn't cover sigma notation. So I'm going to do that now. And if you just want the answer, maybe skip a little bit ahead in the video. But for those of you who don't know what sigma notation is and want to find out, then stick around. Okay, so sigma notation looks like this. And you've often got like a number here, let's call it N. And maybe K. These numbers can be anything. Um, in this question, there was a 10 where the N was and a Y where the three is. And this could be say like X squared or um, K squared in this case, something like that. Um, you could even have a, uh, you could even have, yeah, this, you could even have one over y minus two here. It doesn't really matter. But let's look at what these mean. This here is the rule. It's the governing rule. So it tells you what to do with k and n. Um, k is the number you start with. So this is the starting number. And n is the finishing number, the number you end on. And I think the best way to explain that is to do question three and see how this sigma notation would work. So we have 10 root uh, sigma y equals three. 1 over y minus 2 minus y equals 3. Ten. So sigma means the sum of. So this, what this means is start at 3 and finish at 10 and tell me the sum of all of the numbers up until 10. So let's say that we started at three because that's what we have to do. So we start at three. So the first number would be, and it's the same for both. So one over, and we're starting at three. So this is for y equals four and for y and then y equals, and then we'll do a little table here so we can see. Three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll stop at seven and maybe see if there's not a pattern that we don't have to do the whole thing. So, for three, one over three minus two is one. And one over one minus one, oh, sorry, uh, one over three minus one is a half. Okay, I'm going to just color code these so that you can see what, which one I'm doing first. So the blue is this. Okay, so this is blue here. And the red will be this bit here. And then the sum, we'll just add them up. So we'll see what it equals. Uh, so we can put the sum here. So this is kind of like the final answer. So one minus a half is one. So let's put in now four for y, because we started 
uh, three and we need to end at 10. So if it had if it'd been one, we would start at one and n depends on what we start with. Uh, so, uh, okay, now, uh, put in four. So one over four minus two, four minus two is four, so that'll be a half. And this red bit here, four minus one is a third, right? Okay, so we're starting to see a pattern here. Five minus two is three. Is three. So this is one over three. And so this will be a four. And we already see that there's a pattern. Okay, so let's look at what's happening. Here we've got the sum of, and so a half minus a third is a sixth. But what we can rather do is to see these are all positive and these are all being, and the red, the, so the, the blue are all positive. If you didn't understand what was going on, you could just do them all the way to 10, but this is only a three mark question. So you'd be wasting a bit of time. So these are all positive. So do you see that minus that gives you that? That minus that gives you zero, a quarter minus. And so this would go all the way up to 10. So we need just need to figure out what the 10th one would be, because we know it'd be one minus whatever was left when we had the 10. So I'm going to actually erase seven and just write 10 because I know that they're all gonna cancel. Oops. So let's just go straight to 10. So 10 minus two is eight. That'll be one over eight. And if we were to do nine here, I'm gonna make this a nine rather. Uh, one over nine is one over eight. Uh, so I'm gonna put that in there. One over eight. Just so that you can see that these last ones would cancel. So this, I'll do it in an estimate. So, so this bit here, these all cancel to zero. These all sum to zero. And so we have one minus and it'll be a ninth. So one over one minus nine is equal to one minus one over nine is equal to eight over nine. So that would be the Final answer for question 3.1. So hopefully you have a little bit of an idea of what sigma notation is. If you still are stuck on sigma notation and you need a full video, I'm happy to do that. So yeah, just send me a message and I will do a video. But yeah, hopefully you should all know now what sigma notation is. So we'll do 3.2 in the next video.